Well, Alright folks, tomorrow let's play at the Colonel's Bequest. In the last episode, Wilbur died. But, at least we have his monocle. I'm gonna change the speed up a bit, actually. Uh, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Should be a bit better. So, oh, a bit more speed. Nah, that's too much. Too much speed. Too much. That'll do. Okay, so, where to go now? Well, I think there's an item that we need to get off Seely, so let's go back and see her. Something I missed earlier. Alright. Let's go back and see her. So, um, two deaths. Laura has not found out who is the killer yet. Give her time. Hopefully she will at some point. Am I keep being... I, I was obscured by like a branch. Alright. Sorry, Seely. I'm coming back in again. Knock. It's nice to see you again, Missy Laura. Why don't you come in? Will do. Thank you. Look, bowl. You see nothing special. Okay. Uh, look, table. A single carrot on the kitchen table catch captures your attention. Ask about carrot? Don't think she's going to do it, say anything about that. I don't know nothing about that. Fine. Then I'll take the carrot. Yeah. Not close enough. Okay. Take carrot. Before taking the carrot, you look at Seal for permission. She nods her approval. With that, you take the juicy looking carrot for yourself. <whistles> carrot! We now have a carrot in our inventory. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's go back indoors, shall we? And uh, scope out. See where everyone is because their numbers are falling quick. So, Jeeves has been in there this entire time, so I don't think it's going to be him. I don't think it's going to be him anyway. Might be. You never know. Uh, Fifi's upstairs, so's the Colonel. Colonel hasn't moved, but we know he can move. Will the Colonel kill, like, his own family members? I don't even know. Anyway, let's have a look. Nothing here at the moment. So I look down. I'm looking in every room just to make sure I know where everyone is. Let's try and see who is the culprit behind this. Gloria's still over there. Okay. Lillian's probably in a little dollhouse. No one here. Okay, okay. Let's look upstairs. See who's upstairs. Well, we know Rudy's upstairs, and that other guy, I think the, is, he, is that the doctor? I don't know. I'll have a look in here. This is their room anyway. Ah, it appears that Rudy and Clarence, that's his name, Clarence are sharing. <coughs> Excuse me. Time! Right. So it's like, this ain't for you, kid. Fine, I'll move. And by the way, 20 years old, so screw you. I'm 20! I'm a, uh, m m not a man. I'm, I'm a woman! Alright, push cabinet. I want to see what they are talking about. Right. What are you two talking about, Rudy and Clarence? Look in hole. What are you talking about? Who's this so-called director the glory is seeing now? Why well, I wanna punch these lights out for getting between me and my gal. Gloria was never your gal. Just because she went out with you a couple of times, you thought you owned her? Well, I got some news for you, buddy. My sister doesn't need to sell for the likes of you. As a matter of fact, you have nothing, you were nothing but a mid dance to her. Dal dalliance? Why, <laughs> well, you're the one who can't make a commitment to anyone. You're just trying to sit Gloria down. You ain't enough to kiss the ground she walks on. You're nothing but a low-class jerk. Okay. Quit butting in between me and Gloria. This is none of your business. 
I'll handle it the way I want, and I won't ask your permission. I'm warning you, Jack. If I see you near my sister again, I'll cut you up into pieces and feed them to the dog. Got it? Right, these two are looking very suspicious. And he walks off. Where has Rudy gone? See, if I had to pick it, Clarence would still be in there. Yeah, Clarence is asleep, okay. So Clarence is asleep, where has Rudy gone? Is that something down there? No, I think that's just something to do with the floor. Okay, let's go and look at Fifi, see if she's still here. Oh, it's Rudy! God's sake, is Fifi at it again? Act 4! He's trying. Oh, got a slap in the face! You'll regret that, you little vixen! <sighs> God's sake, Rudy. You're trying. You're really trying. Talk to Fifi. Please, mademoiselle, let me rest. I think she's going to sleep, or is she sleeping? Oh, no. All right. Where's Rudy gone now, then? That's what I need to find out, because he's the only one at the moment, apart from Lillian and, well, Ethel's being drunk, who's up right now. So let's have a look. I best check on Gloria as well. Just make sure she's not bloody gallivanting around in a feather boa. Let's have a look. Is she in here? She's not. This isn't looking good. Things look suspicious here. You can see pieces of a broken record on the floor by the Victorola and a small pile of pink feathers near it. Hmm. Look floor. There are pieces of a broken record and a small pile of pink feathers and some mud spots on the floor. Look record. A broken record lies on the floor. Okay. They didn't even finish off their bloody game of billiards, God's sake. Look, record with monocle. Broken record lies on the floor, okay. Look, footprint with monocle. The muddy spot looks like a partial footprint. Okay. Okay, well, where's Rudy gone? Where has Rudy gone? I don't think he'd do that to his own sister. Well, Fifi's here now. Okay. So Fifi's down here. Gosh, she didn't take much to rest, did she? God's sakes. Seen here, who's in here? No one. I don't like the look of this. Gloria's gone missing, and Rudy and Clarence... Well, Rudy's not meant to be seen. Clarence is upstairs, I believe, sleeping. But if if Fifi can get down here, so can Clarence. That's the thing. Okay. There's Clarence! Okay, what are you doing out here, Clarence? Where's Seely? She's just rocking her chair, okay. Where are you going, Clarence? I'm gonna follow Clarence. A broken arched bridge crosses a large stream at the swamp edge. Clarence is going somewhere and I'm going to find the bugger. He's going somewhere in a hurry. I'm finding him. I will find you. Get him away, Gator. Do not want to go anywhere near you. Come on, Clarence, where are you going? Where are you going? I will find you. You're going upwards, are you? Okay, I will find you. Oh! Well, we know where Gloria went. What's this? Gloria is lying very still upon the gazebo floor. On closer inspection, it's clear that someone has strangled Gloria with her own feather boa. Ah, oh, for God's sake, that's three. Look, 
Gloria. Not that. What's that? Like Loki? Not playing bloody <laughs> Binding of Isaac Rebirth yet. Piers of Gloria was strangled by her own feather of boa. Search Gloria. Nervously, you examine Gloria's body and confirm that she was indeed viciously strangled by her feather boa. Someone doesn't want everyone else here. And I think it's you. You're standing at the east side of the circular gravel driveway leading to the old plantation house. Clarence, where are you going? I will find- I will follow you. Well, Clarence was so close. Ah! It's Clarence and Rudy. Okay. These two have become prime suspects for me, I'm afraid. For you two. I will find out which one of you is doing this. Or if it's both. Get out of my sight, jerk! No, you get out of my sight! Why, you? Fight! Come on! You little pipsqueak! Punches Clarence in the face. Don't mess with me, bud. Just stay out of my way. You ain't the last of me, Rudy. I'll get you for this. And flips him off just before he goes. Okay. Speaking of, I haven't seen Ethel around either. I haven't seen Ethel around and I'm... Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Where is Ethel in all this? That's what I'm thinking now. There she is. All right, Ethel's okay. Rudy and Clarence just had a one-punch fight, literally a one-finger death punch, and it was Rudy's punch. So, but why would Rudy kill his own sister? Ah, there's Lillian. What are you doing, looking in the cabinets? Act five. What an interesting collection of weapons Uncle Henry has. I wonder. You wonder what? Oh, Laura, you startled me. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna ask. Ask about Gloria's death. And of course, even our own best friend can't give doesn't give a damn. Alright, where is everybody else? So I need to know where's Clarence, where's Rudy? Give me two prime suspects right now. Clarence or Rudy, where the bloody hell have they gone? Well, there's Rudy. Okay. We found Rudy! Rudy's in there. Okay. Ethel's out there, so she's fine. Are we seriously down to, like, four people? Well, seven if you count the staff. And Henry himself makes eight. Right. Half past eleven. Hmm. Ask about... Rudy. I don't understand Rudy. I spelled Rudy wrong. Ask about Rudy. Watch out for that guy. He's trouble wherever he goes. I happen to know that he has too many gambling debts. One of these days he'll get what's coming to him. Yeah, well, if he keeps staying in this place much longer. Go on. Give us something. Give Cracker the parrot. You gave the Cracker a parrot. Jeeves, kiss me again. Ah. Hmm. Well. Well, the only person that Jeeves has got going for him would be Fifi, wouldn't it? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Oh, I wonder sometimes. Right, so we've had a death. Gloria's been strangled. We need to find out who did it. I wonder if Lillian's still in there, actually. She may be. Let's open door. We can open this door, okay. Look. It's a leaky old playhouse. Alright, she's not in here, then. Look, chair. Two little chairs accompany the small table. Okay, well, there's nothing suspicious in here. It's just weird. Okay. 
Well, this is getting weird. Very weird. Who is doing all these bloody killings and why can't I spot them? God damn it. There's the old bell tagger. Do you know what? I feel like doing something silly. Because I haven't died yet in this. So, let's climb the ladder. Let's oil the bell. There we go. Oiling the rusted bell may have loosened it. Good. And now, pull or ring bell with cane. Because I still got the cane, remember. Reach on the cane, you give it a short put. Oh. What the hell? Okay. That was weird, but kind of funny at the same time. You are now a southern bell, and we are dead by a bell to the face. Yeah. Let's not do that, shall we? So what happens if we just ring the bell with the cane without doing anything? What happens here? You reach at the bell, give it a pull, nothing happens. Oh, the bell's too rusty to move. Well, I'm definitely not oiling it, because that will kill me. No, thanks. I haven't seen Ethel around recent. Well, I saw her around pretty much about in game about half hour ago. Where she's got to. We'll probably have to try and look around for her. She'll pop up some point as drunk as hell, probably. Hmm. This is a big predicament. A big predicament we've got ourselves in. It doesn't sound good, I'll tell you that much, this bloody noise. Stop with the gongs! Gong. Everywhere gong. No, this is not the right way to go. God, I hate that blood. That just like one tone thing. Is like, it makes it really scary. <laughs> this is not nice. Okay. I haven't checked out that place where the minnow is recently. I wonder if anything's happening there. If I could bloody find it again, that'd be a good sign. <laughs> I'm seriously trying to find it, but I can't remember where it is. Oh, wait, I can still control the aura. Okay. Nope. Not here. Hmm. Nope, not there either. We'll carry on. There's the old dollhouse. We already know that it's not there. Is it over here? The west corner of the island, you see an old dilapidated stable surrounded by an empty coral. Do you know what? Let's do something silly again. Because this is one other death. Uh, open door. Just do that yourself. Let's open the door, let's go in! It's a horsey! Look at that! There is only one stall in this old stable. There is an old broken down nag in the stall. You deduce this must be Blaze. Okay, this must be Blaze then. Open gate. Why not? Hello Blaze, how you doing? You are a dead ringer, Laura. Yep, we just got a hoof to the eye sockets. Two hooves. That's gotta hurt. Ugh. Anyway, let's try and find where we're actually supposed to go. And not to the bleeding stables. Ah, this is where we need to be. No, I want to go that way. God damn it. Stop me. Somebody stop me. I can't even walk that way. What the hell? Have I got to walk up again. There we go. Alright, opening the door. Let's have a look-see. Oh, for God's sake, Ethel! This is dreadful. Poor Ethel has been hit over the head and killed. Something terrible is going on around here, and you suddenly feel a cold fear spreading ominously throughout your body. Uh, this isn't good. Look, Ethel. It looks like Ethel was hit fatally on the head with a very heavy, blunt instrument. Can I search Ethel for something? You're not close enough. 
search Ethel? You're not close enough. I can't get any bloody closer than I am. Search Ethel. I would like to search this corpse. Screw you. One more try. No! Fine. One last go. You can't do it! Okay, fine. Forget it. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going for a break here. Um, Ethel's dead. Gloria's dead. Clarence and Rudy had a fight. And this is getting weird. Alright, guys. Well, in the next episode of Let's Play the Colonel's Bequest, who dies next? Ooh. I'll see you then.